I remember it being somewhere in like that direction, but I could be wrong. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's all those. Man, that's like seven seagulls right there. Maybe six, I don't know. Alright, so it is. Wait, what direction for me? Is it that way? Yeah, and that is. a little southwest of me. So, I'll set that up and we'll be there. Look at Link doing the Captain Morgan. Alright, and here we go, sailing right into the heart, the eye of the storm, I guess. Even though the storm hasn't brewed yet, but there it goes. Perfect. I love how these guys just spawn rain like that. It's so neat. Oh man, this guy's got 12 eyes too, so we'll probably get a piece of heart from this even. Didn't expect that. I have racking up more heart pieces in this recording than I thought possible. I'm not exactly sure how many heart pieces are in this game total. I think it's more than Ocarina of Time, but not as many as Majora's Mask or something. There he goes. Man, he, that guy took forever. I mean, I guess 12 eyes, that does take a long time. But, um, it shouldn't take, like, a, like an Earth Sage. And there we go. Heart piece galore, I hope. But I'll be equally happy if it's just 100 rupees. Because I swear I need those rupees, I tell you, man. Or need rupees more than ever in this game. Anyone can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I love how the boat's just looking at it all curiously. Like, we're both looking at it super curiously, but I'm the only one who gets to even, like, see what's inside of it because the boat can't, like, lean his head that far back to l actually look in the chest. That'd be really funny if he could. I mean, I've seen him bend his neck in pretty weird contortions, but that might be stretching it a bit. Alright, so that is it for Seven Star Isles, I believe. So now, what I want to do is head directly south to Dragon Roost Island. And I'm going to show off a few things there. So, see you in a second at that big honking thing there. I don't think I've ever sailed at Dragon Roost from this direction before, from through like all these pillars. It's kind of beautiful, actually. I don't know. And of course, you got to love how the music complements it. But uh, this is actually kind of perfect because this is where I want to be. Because now that we have bombs, we can actually take out this rock. And I think this is only like a spot where you can get rupees, but I still want to show it off anyways because it's a really cool area. And basically that's all I'm going to be showing off for now. Here is just a few ways to get rupees on Dragon Roost Island. Because uh, now that we have a few more items, that is more open to us. Plus we have a larger wallet so we can hold it all. And the idea behind this little area here is uh, that, oh, I think that would have been three hearts if I was low on health, but whatever, is that there's four rooms on the sides here, as you can see, and what you gotta do is take out all the monsters in each of these rooms, and uh, basically, that's basically it, and then you earn yourself your treasure, your rupees. So there you go. And you'll be able to tell which door, which rooms you've cleared because it'll have like a fire above the door like that. A blazing fire. An eternal flame, just like on Kennedy's grave. Okay. I don't recall this place being too threatening. There's, there's one of these later on. Kind of like that mouth cave that we saw in Star Island. There's like a few variants of these, little, of this little like coliseum type area. And um... Actually, I should probably get enjoy pendants from these guys, right? And uh, this is probably the easiest out of all of them, because there are a few hard ones later on with like dark nuts and stuff in them. It gets a little bit nasty, quite frankly. Alright. Yay, joy pendant! <laughs> I love how you can see my head, like the top of my head, in that scene there as it was showing the flame. That was funny. Mm hmm. And I think some of these will have, like, maybe, like, five rooms or something. Or, like, once you clear out all the four rooms, then, like, monsters will appear in the center room or something. That might be how it works in one of them. But for now, it's just, uh, pretty self-explanatory, pretty straightforward. It's also a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. Alright, which way is the last one? Right there, man. Door closest to me. What are the odds of that? It's like a Monty Hall experiment or something. What are the odds of the door? I don't know, I read about that yesterday, the Monty Hall thing. It's a little bit long and complex to explain in this video like this, plus it 
It's not really relevant at all anyways. So whatever. Just take out these guys. Dude, he was dead. He did not hit me. Unless I got hit by the corpse of the other one. I don't know. Because it, it kind of was like flailing around over there. Or maybe, it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just being a jackass. I probably did get hit fair and square. And I should just take it like a man. Be a man. And I believe this is going to be a purple rupee or something. Yep. But more so than that, there's also these four pots here, each of which should contain about 10 rupees. Whether it's 10 green rupees or a yellow rupee like that, yeah. Poifect. Poifect. Whenever I say poifect like that, like I hear some people saying, uh, mostly NCS sometimes, I think of like poi, like the stuff that they serve in Hawaii that I ate one time, and how just nasty it is. Because like it's not it's not supposed to be eaten on its own, I guess, or something. But when I tasted it, I didn't know that, so I just ate it straight up on its own, and it was just like terrible. Like it didn't necessarily taste bad or anything. It just didn't taste. Like it didn't taste like anything, and it was just like I hate foods like that. That's why I can hardly stand to drink water sometimes because it doesn't taste like anything to me. I mean, I guess it tastes like water technically, but. Whatever. I have my boca here anyways. On this side. Whatever. Nintendo logic. Don't question it. I know this from my many adventures. Anyways, um... Yes, there's about two more ways I can think of that you can get rupees here right now. And I'm going to show off the first one, which involves the Deku Leaf abuse. I mean, not abuse, but just usage. Okay, so what you want to do is step out here onto this balcony where, like, these Rito guys are. Or at least this Rito guy. And just walk right past him, ignore his ass. Give him the finger or something. I don't know. Can't do what you will. And uh, as he gazes on with me, <laughs> we're going to change the wind together, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. I have the wind baton, and he's a wind man. So, change the wind to about that way. And you can actually see out there that there is something of a platform on the horizon. And that's what we're headed out for. Will I have enough magic for this? I don't know if you need the upgraded magic meter to actually make this. Because you have to do this like twice. I guess there's probably some magic in this grass though. Mm, yeah, it looks like it. We'll be set. And I hear that cargo rock. You're going to piss me off, aren't you? Well, actually, I'm going to get a golden feather from you. So that's actually not that pissy. There you go. And he died pretty easily, too. What's this to say? Up! Up! Up, 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 up! No! I guess it's technically supposed to be, like, pointing that direction, because that's the direction that the next platform is on. There's that volume thing in action, by the way. You saw I raised his finger. That's because I tilted the control stick straight up. Straight up, yo. Okay, um... Man, I just totally blanked on what to say there for like a second. I don't know, I just like... I, it just like hit me that I'm just like flying through the air. Literally nothing else happening. Except for the fact that like flying through the air is awesome. But, uh... Whatever. Like if you could do that in real life, I mean. Alright, stop that. Do I have more than 40, uh... Joy pendants? I think I saw that correctly. Dude, he's gonna kick my ass. I will hunch you down and kick your ass. Okay, what does this one say, though? Probably just says, like, go left or something. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, there's Beetle down there. Maybe they're pointing a Beetle shop shit. Maybe you put that rock there to advertise. That'd be a pretty clever advertisement. I mean, I would buy something from a guy that advertised his place on rocks, on stone carvings. That would be awesome. Oh, shoot, 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 I forgot the Deku Leaf. Oh, my God. It's kind of vital. You don't want to just hop in the ocean going for a swim, do you? I mean, normally you would, but not here. And uh, in this little cavern, over the woods and through the hills, that's wrong, but pff, whatever. Here's an orange rupee for you. Oh, man, we have exactly 400, now exactly 500 rupees. Or you guys can uh, die to my grappling hook. So weak, so weak, man. Whatever. And uh, it's a nice little shortcut, nice little bonus here. If you push this, push this, there we go. And there you go. It is done. 
Is that a treasure over there? I see a light. Yeah, that is. That is a light beam sticking out over there. I thought I already got the treasure for Dragon Roost, but uh, apparently not. Anyways, the last way I can tell you to get rupees on this island is using the Hyoi pair. I mean, it's like, what? All right, yeah, you can fly into that. You're not going to fly into that tree right now, Seagull. Bear with me here, because I'm going to kind of screw you over for a second, if you don't mind. Because you can see that there's this big old rock up here, and there's a chest on top of it. That's not blatant. I thought the chest was actually inside the rock. I never noticed it was on top of the rock. But yeah, if you blow up that set of bombs and basically kill the seagull. You can also use arrows once you get those, but there's a silver rupee for you if you do. Exactly 700 rupees. Sweet. 